All right, this is what to do post install of installing OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. This will work for any variant, KDE Plasma, GNOME, XFCE, should work for everything. It's basically just how to set it up. Your, depending on what desktop environment that you're running, the tools will be different, but it's the same idea. Especially when it comes to YAST, and YAST is just kind of universal, depend, doesn't really matter. First thing to do, the only thing I've done so far is I have the, I have done the an upgrade. So it's fully updated, only had eight or so updates. It's a fully updated system. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into YAST. This will also be a little bit different if you're running NVIDIA. If you're running NVIDIA and you want your drivers installed right away, go into software repositories, hit add, community repositories next. You'll want to do this eventually anyway, so go ahead and select Pac-Man, Pac-Man Essentials. And if you're running NVIDIA, select NVIDIA, I am not. And if you're wanting to watch DVD movies, select, select lib DVD CSS repository. Hit OK. Those will install. You might have to hit trust a time or two. Like that. And again, if you're running NVIDIA driver, if you're running an NVIDIA card, be updated, upgraded, distribution, or you know, pseudo zippered up before you do this. Hit OK. Now you have two choices. You can go to online update. My son did this, didn't work for my son. There should be NVIDIA packages here if you have an NVIDIA card. If that's not showing up, jump into console real quick or terminal and do pseudo zipper INR. And what that does is it installs recommended. Once you have NVIDIA repo active, then you can install recommended, which the NVIDIA drivers will then be recommended. Just hit yes. This is also installing a few things from the Pac-Man repository, like Mozilla Open H264 all of these things I'm, I'm pretty sure if you're running Nvidia after this finishes go ahead and reboot your system and you should be running your Nvidia drivers okay that is done Nvidia drivers reboot otherwise you're good to go once you've done that I did everything default install. I did not change anything during the install. So one of the things that you're going to want to do is right here, network settings. This is just more or less my personal thing. And the host name by default is localhost. So when you're on KDE Connect, it just shows up as localhost.localhost. Localhost. localhost. Yeah, right here, land at localhost dot local domain. I don't like that. So I'm going to name this something more akin to what I want it to be. I don't think, I don't, can you do caps? My PC. Sure. Okay. So once that's set, now when you use something like KDE Connect, it's going to show up as my PC from what I just did. Next thing you're gonna to wanna to do, if you have any printers, uh, if you have printers in the house, and, and again, to use KDE Connect, you're gonna to have to change your firewall settings. So one of the main things to do is under interfaces, and leave this default, so if you want to keep your firewall running, leave this just like it is after writing configuration. Reload, after reboot, start on boot. If you want to turn your firewall off, that is an option. If you're behind a router, a router is a hardware firewall, you can turn it off. If you want to turn it off, 
After writing configuration, hit stop. After reboot, do not start. Firewall will stop working. If you still want your firewall to work, go to interfaces. You'll see Docker here. Uh, hit change zone. I'm going to change the zone to home. Hit OK. So now you go in here to zones under zone home. You have the things that you need to work here. MDNS should find your printers. Uh, Samba client that should find any Windows Samba network shares. SSH will allow you to SSH, SSH in. Uh, if you do install, after we install KDE Connect, we're going to come back to this and check and make sure that KDE Connect has been added. We're going to make sure it doesn't show up already. It does. So I know I'm going to install KDE Connect, so I'm going to highlight KDE Connect, and I'm going to hit Add. So now my KDE Connect will work. Hit Accept. You now have a firewall that you should be able to find your printers, and you should be able to use KDE Connect. Personally, I turned my firewall off because I am behind a hardware firewall. But yeah, that's up to you. I just showed you how to that should make it work. So there is that. Now, next, one of the very first things that I do on a new OpenSUSE tumbleweed is I do sudo zipper dup to update. And since I've already done the, the dup, I'm going to go ahead and do sudo zipper n opi. And OPI stands for OBS Package Installer. We're going to go ahead and get that going. Get that install. Hit yes. You're not being very quiet. I know. It's all good, girl. Come here. Facebook. Outstanding. What? Wait until I'm done recording. I'm almost done, okay? Okay, OPI is now installed. Next thing we're going to do is sudo OPI codex. And that's going to install all your fancy, fancy codex. Hit yes. Adding Pac Man repo because I guess. Pick a mirror? Sure. Um, Germany, 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 Czech, China. Germany. I've actually not seen that before, but sure. And then hit yes. If you get the option and you see anything that says CDN instead of FTP, pick the one that says CDN. Uh, content, content Distribution Network. And I'm pretty sure the CDN on the standard repos is default now. So if you haven't tried OpenSUSE Tumbleweed in quite some time and your biggest complaint was that it was zipper was slow, it was slow to install, try OST again because they have content distribution network for the main repos now and it's much better. It's a whole lot better.
So as you can see, it goes through several different installs and gets you to the get you all those good codecs. And this is almost done. Outstanding. Now we'll show you a trick. With Opi installed, it's the easiest way in the world to install Google Chrome if you need Google Chrome. So sudo opi google hyphen chrome. It asks you if you want to add the official Google repository, stable beta or unstable. Just for this example, I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and pick stable. And import package signing, yes. Package signing, yes. And it's just that easy you have Google Chrome installed. And then the last thing it's going to ask you is, do you want to keep the repository? Select yes, and it will continue to update. The zipper dup will update anything that you've installed with Opi. So keep Google Chrome repo yes, because you want it to continue to update. And there's a lot of other things that you can do with Opi. Um, for example, sudo opi team speak it's going to search the repo for team speak and it's going to give you all these options for team speak i'm going to hit zero uh what's another one teams another one another good example is teams do you want to install teams for linux for teams for linux.de repository this is microsoft teams uh, hit no. Here's another one. Pi Zoom. Do you want to install Zoom? I don't, but okay. Um, yeah, so very handy. Opi is very handy. All right, you got uh, Codex installed. You're pretty much done. The last thing that I usually do is I do all my big installs. So in Zipper, just like most, just like I think every other, uh, package manager I can think of you can do all your installs in one line so I would do sudo zipper in Inkscape GIMP Kden live and just keep on keeping on just like that and before you know it you know one command you've got everything that you want installed and I can't remember everything wine uh, steam Lutris OBS Studio. Oh, you know what? Check this out. KDE, KDE Connect hyphen KDE. Because that's how it's in. That's how it's on OpenSUSE. Yes. I know. Okay, here's another facepalm moment. Play on Linux. You have to do capital P, play. Capital O, on. Capital L, Linux. Otherwise, it'll throw you an error. It'll say, can't find play on Linux. Do you mean play on Linux? And then it'll close out. But, yeah, you know, there's every system has its plus and minuses. Uh, to me, OpenSUSE has a plethora of pluses and only a few minuses. So, there's that. I'm going to hit yes on this. And that's my big install when I want to install everything. And you, you get a lot of, you get a lot, but that's pretty much it for this video. I just wanted to show you some of the things that I do in a post OpenSUSE Tumbleweed install and OpenSUSE Tumbleweed, highly recommend it. Snapper rollback is not only handy, but it's super fast. If you need to use it less than five minutes, you'll be up and running again. It's amazing. Uh, that's it. That's it for this video. As always, thanks for watching.